In this episode of The Insect Hunter, we are going to talk about how to collect dragonflies. So let's see if we can catch any of these fast flying net dodgers. In order to collect dragonflies properly, we have to understand their behavior. So there are two key types of dragonfly behaviors. The first is patrolling. So a patrolling dragonfly will fly in the air on a specific route, as shown here in this diagram. He'll continue to fly on this route, and anything that he finds on that path, he's going to intercept in the air. So maybe a mosquito or some other insect flying around. As he is flying around, as he crosses paths with them, he's going to attack and try to consume them. The second type of behavior is hawking, and this is where a dragonfly will rest on the ground or on a plant or a leaf or something, and they'll sit there and they will wait for a prey item to fly past them. Once they fly past, they'll chase after them and grab their meal so that they can eat. Once you've figured out what type of behavior your dragonfly is showing, then you're going to take the following actions. So for a patroller, you're going to watch them to see if they're following a specific route. If they are following a specific route, then you want to move towards that route while he is flying in a different part and be prepared to ambush them once they pass. For hawks, you want to wait for them to land and then approach them from behind. You're going to always either way swing at these dragonflies with your net from behind and below. The problem I found at this pond is that the patrollers were highly focused on staying close to the water and I didn't want to get into the water or get too close because it was very muddy. I did nevertheless find some that were hawking and that gave me a better opportunity to try and show you how to catch these. I'm just gonna get myself a good footing. Just wait here and hopefully one will come back and hawk. Small dragonfly hawking right there. Might be able to get him. I have to go real fast if I'm going to do this. Aha! Got him. I got him straight from below and behind, and it was successful. So here we go. You want to be extra careful with dragonflies because we really don't want to damage his wings. That's how you identify the dragonfly and uh, they're just beautiful so you want to take real good care of them. So I'm trying to see if I can get him in a nice position here in the net so I can grab hold of him in this body without hurting his wings too much. Come on dude, it's okay. Uncle Jason ain't gonna hurt you. Yeah, look at those beautiful eyes, man. Those are gorgeous eyes. One of the things you don't want to do with dragonflies is try and chase them. Like some people might try and chase a butterfly, which you might have a chance, but with a dragonfly, you are not going to be able to outmaneuver a dragonfly. Once it sees you and it knows that you're chasing it, it is just, it can dodge and zip and bend so fast. It is just not worth it. So. So there's little claws down here, they use those to grab on to prey. So they'll go fly around and grab a prey and then they wrap those around like a basket. And uh, yeah, those are some great eyes. But yeah, their eyes, like I was saying, are very powerful. That's like their, one of the signature things about them is those eyes and how they use them. So like I was saying, come from behind and below and they might not see you. See if this guy will just fly away as I set him down on my finger. I don't know if he's gonna wanna cling on or here, let's see if he'll fly away. Fly away. Do you not want to fly away? Did I ruin your wings? His wings are super sensitive. I hope I didn't ruin them. Just kind of keeping his wings really limp right now. Go. Nice. Sometimes one thing you can do is just move along and then as you move along you'll scare one up and he'll move out of the way to find a new hawking spot and then you'll know where he's at to try and get him. So you just kind of walk through the grass. 
and then they'll kind of get disturbed and then they'll try and find a new area but you'll actually be able to see where they land. I don't even know if you can see this on camera but he's right there. I'll take a quick fast swing at him. This one I'm pretty sure I can get. That is the sound you want to hear. Let's get it close to the microphone here. It almost sounds like a crumpling wax paper or something. You're okay, buddy. This one looks a little different than the other one we had. Maybe a different species. Not sure. Now he's holding on to me, so I guess he has a chance to bite me if he wants. Oh, dude. He bit me. Didn't even feel hardly like the toe biter, but um, he did uh, kind of, I don't know, it just felt like a little pinch. These ones that are landing out here away from the water are gonna be a little bit easier to get. I don't even know if you can see him, but maybe you will after I get him. It's right there. Coming from the front, so he's probably going to see me. Okay, here we go. Three. colors on this one. Nice and pretty. I really like these. Uh, almost like fish or something. Fish scales, I don't know. Pretty colors on this one. Very nice. So with that, you should have enough tips and techniques to help you out in collecting your own dragonfly. If you didn't get to watch the aquatic insect episode, uh, I'd highly recommend you watch that. I was also bitten by an insect in there, so you'll want to check that out and comment below and like and subscribe so you can be with us next time for all things insects.